It's time to stand up. Stand up. Enough. Hey, how you doing? This is Trader David reaching out to you. Appreciate you troopers stopping in. It has been a while, but guess what guys? It's spring now. We have two more months until we officially hit summer. So let's get some work in. That's more than, we got like 60 days of work, of work that we can put in so we can make sure that we're looking good by the summertime. Now, I put a great team together and we'll be able to bring you guys high quality content on a regular basis, which is a blessing. I bust my butt for you guys and I told you it was coming. So, with that being said, we're gonna go through these few exercises and we're gonna create a circuit utilizing these exercises. First exercise, the way that we go about it here at Davis Fitness is that I want you guys to have a basic foundation of how to do your exercises, okay? We're gonna start out with a total body first, then we're going to a core exercise, okay? Then we're gonna take it to chest and back, combination we're putting those two exercises putting those two muscle groups together and then we're going to go back to core all right then we're going to get up we're going to take it to our lower body hips and thighs and then we're going to finish off with core once again okay and then we're going to repeat that circuit one more time adding in different exercises on the second round all right so i got to keep you guessing i got to keep you moving I've been doing my homework and I hope you've been exercising and being prepared for this. All right, so the first exercise is a total body exercise. And what it is, it is a squat with a curl with a press, okay? So on the squat, curl, and press, what you really wanna do is make sure you have a strong foundation in your squat. You wanna make sure you have the proper technique and form in that, all right? And then on top of that, you wanna make sure you're inhaling on the way down and exhaling on the way up. All right, so on the squat, you'll inhale down, and on the way up, you'll curl, and then you'll take it into a press, into an overhead press. All right, and that'll be one rep. So again, you're gonna go down into the squat, inhale going down, exhale coming up, squeezing the glutes, pushing the hip forward as you come up, taking it to a curl, and then taking it to the press. All right, and then you reverse that on the way down. All right, so, Moving on to the next exercise. The next exercise is a core. You guys have been with me for a while. You're pretty familiar by now with planks, but for you newcomers, welcome. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that plank. In the plank, you wanna make sure that you have everything um, based, just like the base foundation of a house. You wanna make sure that you have the elbows, shoulder width apart, as well as the hip, I mean, as well as the knees and the ankles, hip width apart, okay? So technically all that will be lined up together all the way down. Once you come up into your stance, you wanna make sure that you're pulling the core tight, have a nice strong core, pulling the, pulling the belly button in towards the spine, okay? And then on top of that, you wanna make sure that the shoulder blades are almost touching each other. That way we're activating the core even more. All right, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit each side. When we turn it around to the side plank, and then we just wanna make sure that everything is aligned up, and starting from the neck to the shoulders, to the hips, to the knees, to the ankles, okay? You wanna push that hip forward so you can make sure that the whole body is straight line, okay? And then on top of that, please make sure that the elbow is directly underneath the shoulder so you can always protect yourself. That's the name of the game, protecting yourself, doing these exercises, technique and form. I cannot stress that enough, all right? Once we're done with that, we'll then take it to our chest and our back. I combo these two major muscle groups together because I really wanted this to be kind of quick, but also I want you guys to get a good work in. So, incorporating the chest with the back, Technically what we're doing, we're doing a push-up in a row, all right? So in a row, again, technique and form, you just wanna make sure the body is straight because when we come up in that push-up position, it's almost like an extended plank. Same principles, nice strong core, everything lined up from the shoulders, I mean from the neck, excuse me, all the way to the ankles, okay? So on the row, you wanna make sure that the elbows are tight. We're protecting ourselves, so make sure the elbow is tight on the row, all right? Inhale, exhale. Go down to your push-up. When you go down to your push-up, inhale down in the push-up. Exhale, extend those arms, and then take it to the rowing action. All right, try to keep the body balanced. Try not to shift the weight from side to side when you pick up um, whichever side's hand, all right? Next, 
We'll take it from that. We're gonna take it back to core and we're gonna do what I call Supermans. Um, Supermans are very popular, but they mostly focus on the lower back. For a lot of you guys that have weak rectus abdominis and weak inner and outer obliques, where do you think majority of your strength is coming from? Or who do you think is taking care of keeping you upright? Not only is it the six pack that you have underneath there, but also your lower back, your lumbar takes a lot of stress so we have to focus on strengthening that and put that a part of your core workout so with that we'll take it into supermans on supermans you're lying on the belly you want to keep your chin tucked all right you also want to lay the, the forehead on the hands and what you're going to do is you're going to inhale when you come up in the inhale you're going to squeeze the glutes squeeze the legs together so you activate the glutes and that whole back side of your body and then you exhale and relax completely down to the floor relax everything do not keep the body tense. So inhale, squeeze everything you can, and then exhale going back down, okay? That, my friends, is the Superman, all right? Next after that, we have hips and thighs. On the hips and thighs, what we're gonna do, we're gonna focus on sumo squats. Sumo squats in the hips and thighs are very important for the midline, for strengthening the midline of the body, which is a lot of areas where we have injury, growing pulls, etc. And then also for strengthening the lateral side, the outside, which will also hit the glutes, okay? Give you that nice little round action going on, all right? But um, with these, you do wanna make sure that again, you're pressing through the heels, just like a normal squat, even though you're in a plie, or a dance type positioning, okay, you still wanna be able that you're pushing through the heels. Now, if you wanna incorporate the calves, we can do so with a toe raise at the end, okay? That, that pretty much will enable, will enable you to come from the toes all the way throughout the hips, all right? Perfect, and then we're holding the weight in between, which is now activating our pecs, as well as our shoulders and our arms total body workout all right after that then we're gonna take it down back to the core one more time and what we're gonna do we're gonna do side planks activating those obliques all right so again make sure you're paying attention to the examples please watch them thoroughly so you can get a good understanding before you begin the circuit make sure you be safe make sure you have your towel and your water and make sure you've had a great warm-up Check out some of the videos that I've created earlier and you'll be able to see some of the different warm-up techniques that you will be able to use, okay? With that being said, please enjoy the circuit, bust your butt, but be safe.